welcome back to the Leaf Farm channel. Earthworms, small creatures but playing a crucial role in the ecosystem. They are known as the natural engineers of the soil due to their ability to loosen, improve soil quality, and maintain ecological balance. Not only are they an indispensable part of nature, but earthworms also open up a new direction in agricultural economic development, especially in China. With low investment costs, simple breeding techniques, and high economic efficiency, earthworm farming is gradually becoming a popular trend in many rural areas of China. This model not only helps farmers increase their income, but also contributes significantly to environmental protection, soil improvement, and the promotion of sustainable agriculture. Earthworms help make the soil more porous, enhancing water infiltration and improving soil structure. Their waste, known as worm castings, is an extremely valuable organic fertilizer, rich in nutrients, helping crops grow lush and healthy without the need for chemical fertilizers. Earthworms also act as natural waste processors. They can consume and decompose various organic wastes, such as dry leaves, sugarcane bagasse, livestock manure, etc., turning them into high-quality organic fertilizer. As a result, worm farming helps reduce environmental pollution and maximizes the use of available resources. Beyond soil improvement, earthworms are also a rich protein source for livestock, such as fish, poultry, and pigs. Using earthworms as feed helps reduce production costs and increases economic efficiency for farmers. In China, many earthworm farms have adopted modern scientific methods to optimize productivity and quality. The breeding process is carried out systematically, from preparing the living environment, selecting feed and caring for the worms to harvesting them. All of these contribute to a sustainable and environmentally friendly production model. Today, we will take you to explore a large-scale earthworm farm in China. We will witness firsthand how local farmers harvest earthworms, apply worm castings in agricultural cultivation, and create lush, clean, and safe organic vegetable gardens. If you find this content useful, please hit like and subscribe to support us and ensure you don't miss our exciting upcoming videos. Don't forget to leave your thoughts or questions in the comments. We would love to hear your feedback to continuously improve our content. Now let's dive into the main content right away. Harvesting earthworms and worm castings is a necessary routine in the worm farming process. It not only helps maintain the stability of the worm beds, but also creates ideal conditions for worm growth. Regular harvesting ensures proper ventilation in the beds, allowing worms to access food easily, while also controlling population density and providing space for young worms and cocoons to grow vigorously. During their activity and organic matter decomposition, Worms produce a large amount of castings, causing the worm beds to gradually fill up. If not harvested in time, the thick layer of castings can reduce oxygen levels in the bed, hindering worm development. Harvesting helps lower the height of the bed, maintain aeration, and ensure an abundant oxygen supply for worm growth. Additionally, when the layer of castings becomes too thick, worms struggle to move upward in search of food. Regular harvesting not only removes the nutrient-rich, but no longer suitable bedding, but also helps worms easily reach fresh food sources, promoting their growth. Moreover, an overly dense worm population can slow down growth due to competition for food and living space. By harvesting mature worms, young worms and cocoons will have more room to develop strongly, maintaining a stable worm population and optimizing harvest yields. By harvesting worms and worm castings in a scientific and consistent manner, farmers can ensure a sustainable farming system that delivers high economic efficiency. Farmers typically harvest earthworms for three main purposes. Harvesting biomass worms for breeding and expanding farming scale. Harvesting mature worms as feed for livestock or supplying stock to other farms collecting worm castings to fertilize crops and improve soil fertility. Each harvesting method requires specific techniques to ensure maximum efficiency without negatively affecting worm development. First, harvesting biomass worms. After about one month of care, the worms will have grown sufficiently for biomass harvesting. This process is mainly for breeding purposes and expanding worm beds, increasing the worm population on the farm. How to harvest biomass worms. One and two days before harvesting, feed the worms to lure them to the surface of the bed. Maintain a dark environment to prevent worms from burrowing deeper, making collection easier without harming them. 
Use a shovel or specialized tools to gently scoop the biomass containing worms. Once separated, the biomass can be used to create new worm beds or supplied as breeding stock to other farmers. Note, when expanding worm beds, ensure stable moisture and temperature levels to prevent environmental shock for the worms. Second, harvesting mature worms. Mature worms can be used as feed for livestock or sold as breeding stock to other farms. Depending on the farming conditions, worms can be harvested two to three months after stocking. For long-term farming models, periodic harvesting can be done once a month to ensure a continuous supply. How to harvest mature worms. Three days before harvesting, feed the worms to lure them to the food area, making collection easier. Check the worm density on the surface of the bed by gently digging through the top layer of soil. If a large number of worms is present, harvesting can proceed. Use a shovel or appropriate tools to gently scoop the biomass containing worms, then separate the worms from the soil using a sifting machine. For small-scale farming, a manual method can be used. Scoop the biomass onto a tarpaulin. Use a broom to gradually sweep away the top layer of soil. Wait for 5-10 minutes, allowing the worms to naturally burrow downward. Repeat this process until all worms are collected. Best time for harvesting. The ideal time is between 4 to 6 a.m. when worms are actively feeding and gathered near the surface. Post-harvest handling. Mature worms cannot survive long without biomass, so they should be fed to livestock immediately after harvesting. For long-term storage, worms must be frozen. The remaining biomass still contains juvenile worms, cocoons, and worm eggs, so it can be retained for continued farming. Third, harvesting worm castings. Worm castings are a nutrient-rich organic fertilizer that helps improve soil fertility and increases crop yield. The harvesting time for worm castings is typically longer than for harvesting mature worms, as worms need time to consume and excrete waste. Harvesting can take place three to six months after stocking the worms, with the ideal time being around four months when the castings are of the highest quality. How to harvest worm castings. Worms usually live in the upper layer of soil while the castings settle below. Therefore, simply scoop out the top biomass and move it to another bed to continue farming. After removing the upper layer, the remaining layer below will be the pure worm castings, ready to be used for fertilizing plants. Tips for effective harvesting. Three days before harvesting, feed the worms, then proceed to harvest at 4 a.m. At this time, worms will be concentrated on the surface, making it easier to separate the castings. Benefits of worm castings. Rich in nutrients, providing essential microelements for plants. Improves soil structure, making it more loose and better at retaining moisture. Contains no harmful bacteria, making it safe for the environment and humans. After separating the worms from the castings, the worm castings are collected and transported to a storage facility or a covered area to ensure they remain dry and well ventilated, allowing for natural moisture reduction. This process typically takes 7 to 15 days, depending on environmental conditions and the initial moisture level of the castings. Once the castings have reached the appropriate dryness and a loose, crumbly texture, they can be bagged for storage or transported to the market for distribution. If the worm castings are used directly on the farm, they can be transported straight to the cultivation area and applied to the crops. Worm castings are considered one of the most nutrient-rich natural organic biofertilizers, known for being safe and environmentally friendly. They are a top choice for sustainable agriculture, suitable for all types of crops due to their outstanding benefits. Outstanding benefits of worm castings. Improve soil structure and fertility. Worm castings help loosen the soil, increase humus content, and reduce erosion, contributing to the long-term fertility of farmland. Promote strong plant growth. Worm castings contain essential macro, secondary, and micronutrients along with beneficial microorganisms, allowing plants to absorb nutrients quickly and grow healthily. Boosts plant immunity and pest resistance. Two vital organic acids, humic and fulvic, present in worm castings help enhance soil structure, retain moisture, and balance pH levels. This increases plant resistance to pests and harsh environmental conditions. 
safe and free from harmful chemicals. Worm castings are 100% natural, containing no tox chemicals, ensuring a safe and sustainable farming environment. Can be used directly without composting. Unlike manure, which requires fermentation before application, worm castings can be applied directly to plants without harming them, allowing for immediate nutrient absorption. Balances the soil ecosystem. Worms and cocoons present in the castings continue to grow under suitable conditions, helping to decompose organic matter, aerate the soil, and maintain beneficial microbial life. Conclusion Worm castings are not just a comprehensive nutrient source for plants, but they also improve soil quality, enhance fertilizer efficiency, and prevent soil degradation. Thanks to these advantages, worm castings are an ideal choice for organic farming, particularly for clean vegetable cultivation and fruit crops. By using worm castings, farmers can promote healthy plant growth, protect the environment, and move towards a more sustainable agricultural future. Thank you for taking the time to watch Lee Farms video. We hope our insights have provided you with useful knowledge about agriculture and farming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any exciting upcoming content. If you have any questions or experiences you'd like to share, feel free to leave a comment below. We're always ready to chat with you. See you in the next video.